Okay, so this is just a video to show um, what is practically possible with Arduino well, if, you've, if you do have a little bit of coding uh, knowledge and not so much in the mechanical side. So first of all, let me explain the, the, the scenario or the usage for this. Um, I basically have a whole lot of stock and I need to quickly be able to get the price of an item. So I'll just do a demo of um, what's what needs to happen. I do have an RFID tag that's associated with every every different product okay this is just a temporary marker but when i uh, when i do swipe it i want to know the price because i don't write the prices down on my products so it's the quickest way to find out the product i know this is product 530 and it's cost is 9 99 rand 98 cents so i'll just do a demo with another key, key ring that i've already marked this is by number three i'll swipe it past there so you'll see this is ID number 2717 and it's 79 rand 71 cents. Now, okay, I'll show just what's the basics of what's going on here. I do have the upcoming mo uh, version that's a little bit more advanced than this. But basically you do have a Arduino Mega. The reason for Arduino Mega and not a Uno is because I want these extra pins. As you can see, these other, the other modules that I use take up quite a few of these pins that I can't reuse. Luckily you can add some of these headers in there but essentially um, you, you do run out of uh, pins quite easily and programming space as well. So that's the first part is the uh, uh, Arduino Mega. I mean you could have used the Uno but uh, in my case I'm using a Mega with a display screen, the LCD with a keypad. I'm not really using the keypad. Um, this is currently not connected to a computer as you can see. Um, I'll get back to how it's getting those prices correctly um, without being connected to a computer. Um, and then okay, there's an RFID reader. Okay, I do have this module, this second Arduino here uh, in this um, uh, connected so long, but this is not really part of the initial point of sales. This is more to add rem uh, remote connectivity to it and then in effect drive a motor as well. So that's for future pr future project, but so if for a moment you can just exclude that. Um, so there's a three components essentially with it and then it's a f uh, uh, key ring. So I mean you can use uh, cards, but you know which uh, which is compatible with this um, you know, I think it's 13 megahertz, if I'm not mistaken, anything in that range would work. So then, first of all, okay, that's the first part. The second part is we want to be able to, I do have a point of sale system. Um, I'm still busy working on it, but uh, I'll just show you the basic of it. So, I mean, I can say, like, uh, for example, that 217, I could have said, like, uh, on two, 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 two seven, one seven, and add it to my cart basically so i could have done it this way but let's say um, you know just to integrate everything okay, i'll first have to plug my usb port into this okay then next up i'm going to connect to this port okay so now instead of typing the number in on this position um, instead, I'm going to scan it over here, so I'll just do a scan. I'm sorry, I'm not connected to this. Probably need to be somewhere else. Uh, I'm not connected. Okay, there is always something that will go wrong. Oh, I'm connecting to the wrong port. Sorry, my, you know, pfft. yeah, let's just see what's going on there. Port doesn't seem to be connected. Oh, just silly mistakes. So, okay, let's see. All right. I'm connected to port 12, so as you can see, it's showing me information here, depending on what I swipe, I'll just swipe another one, so, so yeah, that integrates completely with my basic card system, so I'll just add the quantities, 
So I mean, I need a wind generator in So I'm not connected to the in internet. This uh, generator in actually connects to my server so that it's connected to my database so that I can, um, well, so that it's not being, s so that everything's connected effectively. But this shows the basic idea of a, s of a system. In terms of code, it's fairly easy. Um, and let me see if I can open up that. And then, well, the code. There's not much to it. Like the big issue, if it, like the way I'm saving the information locally is, uh, let me first maybe show this screen again. I do have a button here for all of my products that have IDs associated with it, uh, keyings or RFIDs. I can generate a a bunch of uh, Arduino code in this, right? I mean, this looks like so I'll effectively copy this over. I mean, copy that over into my Arduino code. I can un unfortunately only hold 900 products with this, with this before I need to use something like SD card or some sort of external storage. But effectively, I'll copy all of that, those lines of code. As you can see, it corresponds to this. And so it's hard coded, but luckily I'm not writing that code myself. I'm generating it, uh, writing the code to write the code so that I can copy it in here. And that's basic. So as you can see, that I've got three products in here. I'm times the times 10 just so that I don't have to use a float so that I can divide by 10 again. Uh, you know, just cheating it just so that I can conserve some space because if I do change this to be a float or decimal value, it I won't be able to have 900 products. I'll have to decrease it to say 500. So that's the one. The first issue is now that way. Um, it's like it's simple enough to read read the information, display it back to the server. I mean, there's not much code going on here. You can pause if you need to, but there's not not that much really going on in here. Um, but what what is important is. Um, well, that it pulls out all this information that I can connect it directly onto here and get that back. So let's say, uh, let's say once I need to add more than uh, about 900 products. So instead of connecting, saving this all on the um, on the Arduino itself, it already has a code in to actually go into the database or into the local database to find the to see if there's an ID for it. So even if it's not saved, even if I do have a 10,000 products and it's not actually saved on this, on the Arduino itself, then it does go to look through the USB port onto the computer to get that ID and get this value back. So you'll probably also know, let me just type this again. Um, you'll notice it shows it differently. Uh, if I first, uh, the, the price specifically, if I first bring it, it will show what uh, a little bit differently, but it will show it the value that it's locally saved on the Arduino. Then afterwards, it will actually still get the information from the computer and then display it. So I'll just, it's coincidentally the same amount, but you'll see the position of it is different. That's just to integrate well the state of it. So I'll swipe the one, as you can see, it's, so I'll just do that again. So, it's so currently it's getting a local database, and now it's on the um, computer. Because that's from Arduino, that's from a computer. Same with the other ones. So get it from Arduino, get it from a computer. So if it's if it's out of sync or so, at least you'll get the latest price. But anyways, so <laughs> this video is getting a little bit long, and that's just the basic idea of it all. So um, maybe I'll just do one more thing. Uh, so I do have my website over here. Do you have my RFID tag over here? Uh, I'll just go website, RFID tag, then I do have a WinForms program over here, uh, I have a SQL database over here, and, well, okay, so the WinForms, okay, then there's obviously the server stuff, uh, I'm just going to say server, the web service. So, I mean, it's simple enough when you, when you look at it this way, the RFID tag reader, it connects to the WinForms, um, and this basically just follows the route back to get the information from a SQL. At some point, I assume it's not going to be connected to the internet, so I'm saving some of this data in here so that I can use it locally, and I'm also assuming that at some point it's not going to be able to connect to the Arduino, therefore I'm saving some data over here. 
so therefore at all three of his points there is a little bit of data you know it might be all of the data needed or in this case where there's only position sp space for let's say 900 products um, it will only be 900 units where over here it will be all the products and all the products so um, yeah <laughs> not the best design like that but uh, it just shows where there might be some uh, discrepancies when you don't have internet connection or usb connection but yeah so that's basically the first video next one what i'll do is to connect the motor up to this to automatically find the um, find a specific rfid connected to a railing system so yeah that's for the next project